Well, hello and good afternoon to each and every one of you. We are going to be talking about spoons. Now, why in the world would I do a video about spoons? Well, truthfully, one spoon or the other spoon or maybe this spoon. My tips and tricks didn't tell me that. They just said a spoon. So, uh, I guess we're just gonna have to play with it a little bit and um, see what happens. So, I am going to this is what I'm gonna do. Okay, you see, I kinda did my makeup, and what I did was um, got my lashes on. I did not do my eyeshadow yet because I wanted to see how this turned out. And as you can see, I have no eyebrows done. <sighs> oh, scary, scary. Well. That's the way it's going to be because I'm going to do my eyebrows, but we're going to use one of these spoons to help us get an arch. Yeah, that's what, that's what, that's what it said. I, I read all about it this morning. Um, I watched what was <laughs> not a real convincing video, but... <laughs> It was kind of funny, actually. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to get my hair out of my face. And I'll just grab a little hair band here. Now, I wish I had one of those little skinny hair bands. So let's just do this. Pull this, I'll pull this mop all back. Because we've got to be able to get to the eyebrows. So, you can kind of see that my eyebrows are pretty sparse in some places. You can also see that they need to be done, which is on the plan for, hopefully I can fit it in today. But, so the, you're, they're a little messy, but you can see there's places, there's places like um, here, Right here, it's really sparse. And right over here, it has a few, and then it, then, and then it has these crazy ones. I don't know. So, but what I'm gonna do, we're gonna try it. I saw this little video this morning that said that we could take a spoon and draw the arch. Because of the curve of the spoon, it helps with the arch. So, I've got three different size spoons. This is what the typical, what I call a typical size teaspoon. This is kind of the bigger one, the tablespoon. And this one is the tablespoon from my personal set that I everyday silverware. And it's, it's, you can see, definitely bigger. So what I'm going to do is what the video, what the thing I saw was saying is you take, and I'm going to do this side. You take like this and, okay, well, we can see that's not a big enough spoon. So definitely not the little small teaspoon. This said to go right underneath because what we're doing is making the arch. So, okay, so that's not really big enough either. Now maybe it might be for some of you girls, but my brows are grow a little higher. So I'm going to, this is my personal silverware and it's the biggest spoon without going to like one of those spoons you scoop out stuff with so, but now look at that 
Now this says you go right under your eyebrow. So we're gonna try this. And what I'm gonna do is I am going to use, um, a lot of times instead of using uh, an eyebrow pencil, which I've got, and I keep saying I'm gonna order a new one because this color is just way too light. You know, maybe it's okay, but I'm used to having darker eyebrows and I, I just wasn't real happy with it, but I do have it. So, but I'm going to use, uh, I know, isn't that bad? My old favorite. So, but today what I'm going to do is we're going to use out of palette one, I'm going to use this color called Chipper. It is the color that I kind of like for my eyebrows to be. And so we're going to try it. Um, I'm going to try it on this side first. And you know, what I was noticing, okay, so if I take this and I put it just like that, I'm getting it right under the edge of my eyebrow. Trying hard not to move it. Okay. So. Well, that is actually pretty close. So here's a, here's a different idea for you. Because when I, of course, you know, you gotta remember, my eyes are kinda droopier than some of you girls might be. <laughs> Cause I'm old. But what I did is I raised my eyebrows and put that right under. Now, I'm thinking it might be, I don't know, it's not too bad. What, what do you think? Y'all think, because what the other thing that I was thinking is if I don't raise my eyebrows, and I just put it here like this. Let's see what happens here because this comes out like the top. And I'm just kind of. Basically following the top line of the hair. Okay. So that is closer for me where the top of my eyebrow that's really close i think maybe so here's the hair so if i was to just kind of fill in these hairs Well, <laughs> I think it's a little thick. I like what it did when I didn't raise my eyebrow when I went like this, because it actually did follow the line of my natural brow. Um, doing it this way to get that arch underneath, I don't think it uh, looks kind of yucky. Uh, that's pretty bad. I have to clean that, clean that up. To get one of those shine wipes and start again. So I want to do, I want to try it on the other side. So we're just seeing if this works. If it works, you know, we'll get out the old spoons and do our eyebrows. I kind of freehand mine most of the time, but. If you have a hard time getting your getting your eyebrows to, you know, getting that arch in them, I, I did another video before about putting the three dots. Like, you put one here, and you put one 
here and you put one here okay so and basically what you do is you follow the follow the dotted line if you need to make more dots in between go ahead but what this is is right here is about midway that's where your art should be so we've got the same basic effect over here if we didn't have all this the stuff that we put on the bottom so let's just see I've got those those dots there now and we'll see if if by chance if we just put it above you see how those dots are showing so that is pretty darn close especially to get this this part here okay now get those dots off my face okay so for me So if we connect that dot with this dot, I think maybe that's a little bit low. Sometimes, sometimes our measurements aren't perfect. So I think it did pretty good for, for the arch, but it wasn't quite as high as I think it needs to go. Okay, so that looks better. <laughs> A whole lot better than this, right? And so from there, all you do is just go back and where you have the hair. Oh my goodness. Blonde hair everywhere. And we're just kind of filling in. If you got any places where those dots are still showing, you could either wipe them off a little bit or just bring your pencil up just a little bit to cover cover those, which I like that a lot better. So it's not a it's you know it's not a bad trick. I thought I would try it and. Uh, it does seem to work pretty good. Now, what you can always do, like if you've done, if you get that step done, then you can go back with your pencil and you can outline, kind of take where, where you did. And you're not really going And you're gonna blend it in on this tail so that it all blends in together now what I'm doing is just kind of tracing right over that bottom line that we made with our spoon And I think I brought it down just a little. I have hair that comes down just a little bit more. And now we're going to take. So. There's the spoon for you. Well, I don't know what if you want to if you want to do that that's fine I've prepared <laughs> I really prefer the three dot thing or just a free hand it but you know if, you, if you're just learning how to do your eye makeup and your brows and you know this big old spoon might help you just find that you know whatever is in your kitchen set you know I think with a smaller one it probably, I could have gone right 
it, it just doesn't, yeah, you could turn it up like that. See, see kind of how that is? And draw from there. You can see that? Maybe, I mean, you can kind of get an idea where your natural brows are. This is just kind of to give you a guide. And if you got a little bigger, if you have higher up eyebrows like I do, you know, maybe you have a little bigger spoon. But this little bitty one, that won't work. But I, after playing around a little bit, I did see one little thing. If you're doing like a cut crease, you can take this this spoon and you can put it right there and it will draw a pretty darn good cut crease because those are hard to freehand especially when you got as many wrinkles as I do um, I'm not gonna do that today we'll save that for another day so I'm gonna go there's your spoon trick <laughs> I hope you enjoyed it I gotta go fix my other eyebrow <laughs> bye guys